You know, my mom always told me there's a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. Now, of course, nobody is denying that. <laughs> Obviously. But wait, where does a rainbow end? And hang on, does it even end? Rainbows appear bow-shaped, but what if I told you that they actually form in circles? It's just that when you're on the surface, the bottom half of the rainbow is hidden by the ground. If you were up in the sky, you would now see the entire circle. Wow! Amazing, right? But why is it a circle? And why do we see only the upper half of it? And whoa, why is it so colourful? To answer all of that, we have to first understand how rainbows are made. And to grasp that, we must first understand light itself. Now, the sun actually emits white light. It just appears yellow to us. This itself is an interesting topic, by the way. And you can find out more about this on the Baiju's app. Now, the sun's white light is in fact made up of seven colours, each having its own wavelength. Let's bring in a prism. Ah. See how the light bends and splits up? This process is known as refraction. Also notice how the prism refracts all seven hidden colours slightly differently causing each to take a unique path. And this is actually how a prism splits light. And nature has its very own prisms. Yes, when it rains, water droplets get suspended in the atmosphere. And sunlight travelling through air falls on these water droplets. The droplets will refract and hence split light into seven colours, just as a prism does. Yes, a rainbow is in the making. Great, but why is it bow-shaped? Sunlight hit the droplet at a special angle. Split rays will also leave a fixed angle. In fact, Analyzing the special angle of the sun rays, the angle of the spectrum can be calculated and it comes out to 40 to 42 degrees for the entire spectrum. And now, for the final piece of the puzzle, let's combine all the droplets that are sending me split light. Tell me, if the angle is fixed, what shape would the droplets form? Yes! A circle! Each of the droplets in this circular rainbow is at 42 degrees to me. And half of the circle is hidden below the horizon. Overall, this gives rainbow a bow shape. Hey, now you know. Not only do rainbows not have an end, since they are circles, they actually, in a sense, don't even exist. They are optical marvels that form when sunlight, atmospheric conditions and the viewer's positions are just right. In fact, someone standing next to you will be seeing a rainbow formed by other water droplets. They are looking at a rainbow, but it's not the same one you're seeing. So don't be sad that you can't get to the end of a rainbow, because every rainbow you see is a special rainbow made just for you.